everybody welcome back to the channel I just wanted to do a quick rundown of you know how I feel about Commander Masters and everything that's that they're printing out and doing with this set so let's go on ahead and dig into it a little bit starting out with white uh, I see a lot of cards in this set that I like you know those are those haven't been reprinted for a while so those kind of need it uh, Antioch Bond Ken Alahiru Solemn Ritualist not on those top cards of things I wanted to see. All It Glitters is a really good reprint, in my opinion, though. Because it hasn't been reprinted since, a, I think it was a Commander set that they reprinted it in. But, a little bit more as we go. Alms Collector doesn't see a lot of play. And Offenza, not that I'm, I mean, you know, any card, you know, assumptions that I make are for me and me. They, these are strictly my opinion, so... You know, this just, you know, you can take them with a grain of salt. Uh, Avacyn, to me, was a really big, like, okay, we're doing this thing now. Uh, ba Beard, I don't know how to pronounce his name, Stuart or Argive. That one wasn't a bad one. I didn't see, I don't see him a lot in Commander. But it looks like it's going to be... And there's a bird trial, there's like a bird thing in this set for some reason. I guess for draft packs or something I don't know uh custody squire it's a voting Danatha is not bad dark Stew mutation has I had a reprint for a while except for in like a commander set fencing ace flawless maneuver now this is one of those ones that I seen I was like yep this is gonna be a good card and it ended up being a really good card uh Creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn. If you control your commander, you can cast a spell without paying its mana value. That is a big, like, uh-oh. I'm about to die if I don't keep my board. Let me do this real quick. So, that was a good one. Uh, Gaviny Townsmith. Enters put up to a plus one, plus one counter on each up to two creatures. For four mana, it's a two, three. Makes stuff bigger. Eh. Generous Gift and Grand Abolisher, though. Those were some big ones for me. I seen them, and I was like, ooh, those are going to be good reprints. I don't think Grand Abolisher's seen a reprint since, like, a core set, though. Maybe. But Generous Gift, that one's definitely a good one. It's not, you know, highly sought after, but because it's coming in everything now. Heavenly Blade Master, Heliod the Sun Crown. That was one that... Because it was only printed in the Theros set that it did, it spiked the way it did, and then it has combo potential. It's in decks for EDH, CEDH, and stuff like that. So, you know, I can see why they would want to put it in here. Uh, Intangible Virtue gets you those tokens. Jazal, Goldmane, it's not bad. Kelleneth, Keleth. Keyleth, I don't know. Kimba, that's not a bad one. Kimba, Katar's Wrath is a board wipe. Lantax, now that's another one I seen that I was like, yeah, that's gonna be a good one. And I'm gonna go over some of the, you know, the prices of some of these cards as we go into, you know, seeing what is actually worth anything in the set. Low Shield. Some of these cards I've seen for the first time because I haven't, I didn't even know what all, if they finished doing it or like it, showing all the cards or not. Lower Retainers. Though, that one is a big hit because we're getting into where, you know, Lower Retainers can bring back your commander from the graveyard straight to the battlefield. So, you know, Lower Retainers is going to be a very pricey card until, you know, Packs start getting cracked and everything like that. Uh, Lore Unicorn, Mace of the Valent, Valiant, Mangara, Ministrant, Mirror Smith. Whenever you cast an Arnold spell, you may pay one if you do create a mirror. That's pretty neat. Now here, the Lithomancer, not really big on my to find list. Palace Sentinels, Palace Jailer. So there's going to be a slight Monarch theme, I guess, too. Audric, Master Tactician. Done not as good Audric. Path, of course, is going to be in here. Uh, Pure Steel Paladin 
was a surprise to me because we don't we haven't seen a lot of artifacts equipments in the set. Uh, I kind of wish they'd stop printing Return to Dust because it's too slow. Uh, Righteous Confluence is not bad. Safar is not bad. Uh, Savine's Reclamation, that one, everybody's using it now for recursion. Smothering Tithe. I kind of, is it bad to say I kind of wish they would just stop reprinting it? You know, there are some cards that, you know, they, they're they good and they need to reprint, but I'm kind of tired of Smothering Tithe. Spectral Grasp. Steel Shaper's Gift, that's a pretty good one. Do they upgrade the rarity? Yeah, it's a rare now, huh? I didn't know it was a rare. Sublime Exhalation. Undaunted. Destroy all creatures. Sunblade Angel. Spear, Sun Spear Shikari. It's not bad. Teshar. That's a good one. Awakening Sun's Avatar. Wanderer Strike. Oh. That Wrath of God is good. Not bad. That's the uh, Annihilation one, ain't it? I think that's a, a promo, or not a promo, but like a special art, and they put it on a Wrath of God. Huh. It's not bad. Zatalpa is another one of those I wish they'd stop reprinting. Aether Gale, Azami, Body Double, Braids, Bribery. Now that is a, Bribery is a big hit. For me, I haven't seen Bribery. I've, I haven't been playing that long, if you know. You know, you know. Uh, Browling Capture of Jing Zhao. Take an extra turn after this one. It's not bad for five minutes, and you can keep recurring it, so have fun with it. Coveted Peacock. Counterspell, of course. You gotta be a counterspell in here. Coveted Peacock. Go to creature. Yeah. Now that one was another, those two right there, Days and Doing and Cyclonic Roof was some more that I just like, very surprised that they reprinted together. Uh, see if we can find some more. Oh yeah, and the, the, um, the free cycle, all the rest of the free cycle that they decided to print in here. Those are going to be, you know, really just pretty decent, good reprints. You've already seen like the market prices of all their original copies either come down or start slowly trickling their way down. But yeah, those, the Fierce Guardianship and stuff like that, those needed their reprints. Frantic Search is always a good one. Kaho Manamo Historian. Two and two blue. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for up to three instant cards, exile them, and shuffle. You can cast the instance from without paying their mana cost. Lil Drake. Murder of Crows. I always love seeing this card. Never seen it played, but I always love seeing it. Murmuring Mystic. That one's actually not bad. Your own personal tutor. Yep. It's good for a reason, and it's a rare. So you can get multiple of them somehow. Reality Shift is a good reprint. Resculpt. That was starting to do some things. Oh, no, not my boy. Oh, that is Rise from the Tides from the promo art that they used for the for the promo. Yeah. Yep, that's a promo art. I know it because I have a couple of them. <clears throat> this was my set. Shadows of Ranistrad and Eldritch Moon. Those were my sets. I was jamming them out hard. But yeah, that is, I love seeing the art, but I don't like, like seeing them outside of their original promos. Size a good reprint. Spellseeker, ooh. Oh, Spellseeker. It needed a reprint. Only printed once. You, you gotta, you gotta do something with it. If you pull one, you might be in some money. Stitcher draw off, not any money, but it's still a good zombie card. Uh, Sun Quan, Lord of Woo. Creatures you can try off horsemanship. That was pretty loud. But, uh... That was my speaker, I think, yeah. Tauran, Teferi, uh, Torrential Gearhulk. That... That Urza is going to keep going down there. I think they're trying to make it go down, because he's been reprinted, what, three times since he's been 
introduced. Into Black. This is probably where I'm going to be like gushing over stuff. Like Bastion to Remember. It's a good card. It's a good aristocrats style uh, enchantment. It's something you need. Uh, Archfiend of Despair. Oh, yeah. Kalia decks are rejoicing because it's just a good demon that you can cheat out. Blood Chief Ascension for the discard. I don't know why they're reprinting Cabal Patriarch. I mean, it's a sack theme. You know, they got a bunch of creatures like Carrier Thrall here that are doing the sack theme. But, you know, stuff like that is not really stuff on my radar. And they just reprinted Chain or Dementia Master in uh, Time Spiral Remastered. So, I don't know. I mean, but Deadly Rollick, stuff like that. Decree of Pain. That Decree of Pain art is... I like that one. Uh, Deadly Rollick needed a reprint. It was starting to get up in the $50 range. It was starting to get close to $50. Uh, Demon's Disciple, Demonic Tutor, Demon Lord Bells and Lock. Those are all great reprints. Especially the Demonic Tutor. And they actually rose the, the power level. Not the power level, but the, the rarity level up to Mythic. And brought down Demon Lord Bells and Lock to a, a rare. Pretty wild. Uh, Dread, Dread Drone, Dread Return. Drown in Sorrow. Ooh, and Sanguinate with some new art. That's pretty neat. Uh, Extinguish All Hope. That's some pretty art. Edric Sar. Edric Sar, I don't see him a lot, but he does work if you're playing an aristocrat style deck. Uh, yeah, that's... And I love the art of it. Edric Sar in the original art was not good looking, but, you know, you, you get reprinted you might get some new art so I, i'm glad they gave decided to give him some new art feed the swarm final parting oh skip all that that's my girl gisa gotta love gisa and gonti gonti didn't need a reprint but you know putting him out there to see for more people newer people to see to the game uh, i like that gorek grave pact oh oh i love grave pact I love the new art too. The new art is great looking. Uh, you really can't just go wrong with a gray pack. I have white border gray packs because I like being a de de degenerate. Imp's Mischief. I don't know anybody that plays that card. It's a Rift the Awakener. I actually thought about building a deck with her. Thought about it. Didn't think too long about it. Kendra Dominance needed a reprint too. I like the. We'll we'll look down through the showcase cards and we'll see, hopefully try and see uh, the gorgeousness of those Legion, Vanguard, Lothless Giant, Loyal Subordinate. Oh, that is gorgeous! I love that art. It's a uh, lieutenant creature, but I like that art a lot more than I like the original one. Macaius, I love the Macaius reprint. Uh, Omnixilis, Ogre Slum Lord. Rankle. Rankle. I just played against a match against him in, on Arena. Razaketh. It's not bad. Runescar Demon needed a reprint. You never have too many tutors. Especially if you're in like creature base decks. Uh, Shizos. Shirei. Shizos Caretaker. Used to have a deck with her. Oh, Toxic Deluge. You can't beat a good Toxic Deluge. Victimize, love it. Wake the dead, whisper, Yargle. Yargle. I don't. Know. A lot of people are confused by their reprinting Yargle. Yargle to me is I guess what they're doing is they're making it the new colossal Dreadmaw. Like they're trying to make memes out of any card they can find. Now we get into our red with a braid, Anax, Ashley. Ooh, Avatar Slaughter. That's not bad. I mean, you, nobody plays it, but Balefire Dragon, Captain Ripley Vance. That's my girl. I got I got a deck around her. Uh, Cyclops Electromancer, Doretti, Deflecting Swat. Yeah, like I said, still all well needed reprints. Disrupt a Quorum. I don't play that card a lot, but uh, it's it's not bad. It's pretty good if you're like in the goad thing. Or you're like at a pivotal point where you don't need nobody to hit you no more. That's where you want it. Faithless Looting, Dracuseth, Fist of Flames, Fiend Lash, 
Frontier Warmongers, Gargadon. Ooh, a Godo. Godo reprint. That's not bad. Uh, Grenzo, Godo, Gutter Snipe. All the dra all the all the goblins at one spot. Uh, Havoc Jester, Heartless Hitsugu is a meh reprint. Inferno Titan. Did we see the Grave Titan? I could have swore they spoiled the Grave Titan earlier. Uh, another Insurrection, a Krinko. Magus of the Wheel, I need one of those. Let's see, Neheb for the 14th time now. Perforos God of the Forge isn't bad. Uh, I don't know about this Rock Amar, but I feel like she's been a creature before in magic somebody correct me on that down in the comments below but uh i don't have never seen this creature maybe because i was not as into magic then i wasn't in magic at all then but uh this may be an original creature a legendary creature and i kind of dig it because you're tapping a red to make an elemental kind of like that uh oh excuse me Rorik, Scourge of the Thrones. That was kind of a needed reprint. There's not a lot of those floating around. A Squee, Star of Extinction. Kind of don't care about any of those. Uh, Stormkill and Artist was starting to get up there too. Especially since it was only reprinted. It's only been printed maybe twice. And it's such such a good card. Vandal Blast. Oh. Vandal Blast was probably one of the ones that I seen. I was like, oh my gosh, they're actually doing it. And now we're getting into green. So Abundant Harvest, Acidic Slime. See, whenever that I seen them spoil Arachnogenesis, I was very confused. I was like, how many printings does it have? Oh, very few. And it was starting to climb. So that's what they're doing. And Crater Hoof was another one I was very, very like, oh, here we go. They're actually putting money in this. But they're not, because they're putting it all in the Mythic slot. So, Doubling Season is always a good reprint. It's always like 40 bucks. Uh, all the Elves. Finale of Devastation was a really good, is a really good reprint, too. Freilise, Galta, The Great Hinge, and Heroic Intervention both are really good reprints, in my opinion. Even though The Great Hinge just got reprinted not too long ago. Maybe even Heroic Intervention, I think it was, in the Lord of the Rings decks. Um, let's see, any other notable green cards? Obscuring Haze, that's the uh, the green command, you control your commander, Fog. Omnath, Locus of Mana was another one I was like, oh, that's different. And Orin, Frostfang. They actually, I think they actually made it a snake creature. I don't think it's a snow the last time we've seen it. But I like the border around it this time. Ovia, Prashiri. Regal Behemoth reprint, it's not bad. Hmm. Let me get a drink. Cause talking on the internet is thirsty work. Ugh. As we continue, uh, Stonehoof Chieftain was another one that I didn't know if it was a reprint or an original creature. Whenever it, another creature you control attacks against, trample and destruct one. Yeah, but for. Eight mana, you should be able to get you know some kind of weird wacky effect. Song of the Dryads was another good reprint in my opinion. I'm glad they decided to reprint that one. Tooth and Nail, not really that big into it. Uh, Wayward Swordtooth always good reprint. Yeeson, we don't see a lot of Yeesons floating around on the tables anymore, but it's still a good commander. Don't be fooled. Uh, Yodora Grave Gardener. Four and a green. Whenever another non-creature you control dies, you may return to the battlefield face down under. Huh. No, I'll pass. I like actually being able to play with my cards and not making them forced. Then we get into the multicolored. Uh, there's one in here that I was very shocked that they put in this menagerie of 
legendary creatures and we'll soon come upon him very shortly. Uh, Kygar has been kicking up some, some pretty good numbers here recently. Gisela reprints always, always good. Maelstrom Wanderer was another one. I was like, huh, that's not a bad reprint. And Marin is a good reprint. Nekuzar, you don't see a lot of Nekuzars either around the table. Not At least not of me, at least. But uh, I feel like Nekuzar getting reprinted might bring him back. Bring back the zombie wizard. Marchesa. Oh, there he is right there. The Scarab God. I didn't think they would reprint the Scarab God. I mean, they've done it a couple times, but, you know, he's getting... He's not no longer the top dog in the zombie world. Sidisi and him, like, go back and forth quite a bit. Slimefoot, Tygum, Sidisi's Hand. That's a good reprint. Tatiova. That's still an uncommon. Uh, Ur-Dragon. Yeah, Ur-Dragon definitely needed a reprint. It's been so long since they did anything to where you could just get an Ur-Dragon. I feel like the foils in this one would be just as expensive as the regular one. Uh, this is a this one right here. This one was took me off guard because they actually put it on its own card. Uh, the the one that they did the uh, Godzilla. Yeah, that one. This is this is it. I was very surprised they did that. I thought they were just gonna leave it as is, and never print it because they waited way too long to print it. And here it is. Salathra, Strength Incarnate. It's not a bad looking card too though. I feel like it would make Sakama look very bad though. If they were to cross paths. And now we get into the colorless section. So, Prismatic Piper, because, you know, it's a commander set. Kozilek, Morophon, some really heavy hitters right off the bat. Uh, Pathrather of Ulamog, Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger, and Ulamog's Crusher. They don't have any other uh, Kozilek creatures to get, I guess. I don't know. And then we get into the artifacts. Some much read always needed reprints. Arcane Signet, Ashnod's Altar, Bonders on Bonders Ornament. I only know one person that thoroughly enjoys using this this card, and that is Brian Canada for Cure for the Common Game. If he's got plenty of them, he's putting plenty of them in decks. I tell you that much. Brass Knuckles, I always think is funny. It's a funny joke. Burnished Heart. They reprinted it not too long ago. Campfire. I don't know what that's from. It's probably from the D and D set. Champion's Hell. Okay. Chromatic Lantern. In my opinion, my personal opinion, Chromatic Lantern has really fallen out of favor because of the amount of inland mana base fixing we have is just so... It's tuned. It's fine-tuned. The quality of lands is allows you to not have to worry about... Uh, You don't have to worry as bad about missing your colors, per se, in my opinion. But, if you still play with this card, I'm not going to knock you for it. You know, if you want good color fixing, Chromatic Lantern makes him all the colors you need. And it taps for a color, too. You just got to make sure it doesn't get wrapped up in a Vanna Blast. Commander Sphere, Dark Steel Ingot. Here's one I didn't know they would reprint in ever extra player lens I think it's only been printed twice maybe and then we have like the medallion cycle oh the medallion cycle you gotta love those maybe you'll get to the point to where they're actually you know budgetable you can actually afford to put them in decks in budget decks maybe even uh, Felwar stone always good reprint foundry inspector love it I'm an artifact kind of person along with zombies uh, gilded lotus it was reprinted not too long ago in the Rema no remastered Dominator remastered but it's also like a schematic one that you can get in the artifact slot uh, hammering is on can't beat it it's a good indestructible artifact out of oblivion is a pretty good one I showed this this was recently put into one of my decks the Orvar deck and it works pretty good the Immortal Sun, so I 
have personally what's the word decided to not care about planeswalkers anymore like planeswalkers they'll do their thing let them do their thing but since i feel like they're moving away from planeswalkers it's not going to be as good anyway but you know with the commander decks you know planeswalker party it's still a thing so can't just ignore it i know but i mean it's still a good card because it spells cost one less creatures you control get plus one plus one extra card I mean that sometimes for six mana that top line of text doesn't even matter. Uh, there's the other jet medallion, expiring sanctuary, jeweled lotus was a needed reprint. Letter of acceptance, meteor golem. I like the art on that one. That one's pretty cool. I love the flavor text on that one too. If you haven't read it, uh, I can't. S she sighed as the creature pulled itself from the smoldering pit the ground boiling beneath the, its still glowing feet she had just plowed that field I would be upset pearl medallion prophetic prism prismatic lens ruby medallion it's pretty good A little setup sapphire medallion soul ring of course but you can get multiple of them you can crack packs and get a bunch of them so the animus needed a reprint too. It'll start to get up there. So now we go into our lands. Uh, Myriad Landscape, Command Tower, of course. Opal Palace. All your generic uh, commander lands. Except for these. These are something I didn't expect when it came to spoiling this set. Was the Battle Lands. I think these are the enemy Battle Lands. Rogue's Passage, Reliquary Tower, and these, the Thriving Lands. I didn't think they would put Thriving Lands in here, but they're not a bad selection if you're going to try to build a mana base on a budget. Of course, Terramorphic Expanse. I actually like that art a whole lot. I like the representations of all the mana, and then underneath it, I feel like it's the Blind Eternities, so it's still pretty cool. Uh, the rest of the Battle Lands. Yep, and that's going to be it. I want to kind of get into the showcase arts. Let me look for that real quick. TG. 